Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay, sir. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the React source code um, again. Um, but it's a pretty simple topic. Uh, it's because uh, when I dive into the React source code, I see so many functions postfix with like begin and complete. And uh, I think it's related to the fiber tree structure. Uh, so I'm going to spend a few minutes today to uh, to strengthen our understanding on how React travels to fiber tree internally. Um, uh, like, uh, I think we have something before, like, uh, I think three, sorry about the naming, I will try to fix it. Yeah, something like this, right? Uh, when, when the React con construct the tree and update, it will need to go to the child and go to sibling and go to uh, return get this parent and then to create a new uh, tree and also when I recently see the new process about how react handles uh, the passive effects it doesn't work as we saw before it doesn't use the like uh, user array to hold the um, effect cleanups but it will traverse the tree again uh, directly and uh, to see if any effects need to be cleaned up. So the, this this kind of a uh, tree, um, tree, okay, here, tree traversal is super important. And uh, yeah, let's begin. So one, um, I had some heads up knowledge is that um, the fifth fiber tra tree, um, we've already covered like a lot of times. Each node basically have three properties to construct the form is uh, one is child, uh, just like, yeah, child, and a sibling, yeah, just like Dom, right? And the child, first child, first sibling, and return. Return is the reference to parent. You can think of like parent animal. Um, there's no children because I think the React team wants to get it simpler. Uh, like if we have this kind of structure, when we go through all the tree uh, nodes, it will go like down, and uh, go and uh, go right and go down, go right, go down and complete again. So so one thing to notice that each node is traversed twice. One is for begin, one is for process, and then is one for complete. This is kind of like, um, as I mentioned, it's kind of like uh, the DOM event, right? We have the capture phase from parent to child and the bubble phase from child to, to parent. So in, in React, it's similar. We have this begin. Uh, you really, it's called begin like this. Begin, it's go down and complete, go up. It is, yeah, uh, this is required because of what React does, like prepare work and collect the children. Um, uh, so one example is that um, you can think of like when we create the real DOM elements, we need to append the ch children to this parent, right? Uh, we cannot, uh, we create we cr when we go first begin, uh, first to go to our parent node like this, you can create a dev or something, but you don't know the children yet. So when every children has its own uh, HTML elements being created, we need to put them up, uh, set them the children as it's the, the, uh, in, the, in the parent, right? So we need this complete phase. Uh, so remember, we have two phase. One is begin, uh, one is complete. So we have this structure and we can see the direct code here. This is an example of the use effect uh, as also we can see it from my debug here. Um, yeah, this is something new. Um, so when we, when the, uh, uh, the, in a commit phase, we need to commit a passive um, effects. Uh, you can see how it is done. It first set, sets the next effects to the finished work. It's actually the root. And then it will traverse down. This is begin phase. It's traverse down. And uh, if this, there's ch first child, it just set to the child, right? Set to the child. If no child, then means meaning it's complete. So it start complete. But in complete, it will first check if there's a sibling. If there's sibling, then mean that sibling is not processed. It will go to sibling and return. So it, it will go back to begin and go down. So. Uh, this is a very rough explanation. Coming back to our example here, like what it does is that 
uh, it, you can think of like, uh, it's like DFS. Uh, this is the start, this is root. And we go straight down to three, right? Go, go one, two, three, use the while loop. Yeah, because it's all child, DFS. And then there's no child, so we complete it. it, it let's sit, do some work here. And then, but we have sibling here. So we need to go repeat the process to four again. So go four and then go down to six. And again, we have seven and eight, go down seven and eight and complete. But now seven doesn't have sibling. So everything, when it is complete, we go to its return, which is a four. So we complete and go to seven, five, and it doesn't have ch ch child or sibling complete, go to return two, return one. So every node is exactly traversed twice. And we have this bottom down, uh, top bottom uh, for begin, but bottom up to for uh, the complete. So what we want to do is try to uh, rewrite this, redo this process with our own words, uh, with our own code. So how we can do it. So I borrowed the uh, editor here from bfe.dev. I th I think I kind of like uh, the, the button here just from Bava code. Um, yeah, I've already constructed the structure, like uh, the node structure. Uh, I think there's something return node. It's not return node anymore. It's return. Uh, I think it's return. Um, it's return. It's return. Yeah, and then. Uh, yeah, this is the perfect reflection about our structure here. One, two, three, I have seven nodes, I have this child and sibling and return. So let's start traverse through them with the perfect order we want to have uh, as what React does. Like one, two, it should be one, two, three, three, uh, and go to four, six, six, and seven, eight, eight, seven, four, five, five, two, one. Right? Yeah, perfect. So let's begin. Um, I think let's just, uh, I, I actually, I can do it with uh, without the, the uh, something like the React, but um, yeah, we can do it with like, uh, you just uh, use uh, the recursion, but it's not good. We need to use the re iteration uh, for performance. And uh, each node have to be run for twice. So we can need to, we can just keep this, tracked of the state, like if it was sort of traversed once or second. But let's just uh, do what uh, as what React does to make it clearer. Um, yeah, uh, so let's keep a, keep track of uh, like next node as the uh, the reference about of uh, what is currently being processed. Uh, so it starts with root and we have a function called begin. Uh, begin, which is this uh, like a capture face, as I mentioned, and also we need to complete, right? Uh, done, so yeah, and then we can just begin. So in this begin begin phase, um, uh, if this begin phase, um, we just uh, log it and see the log from this BFE uh, console. Um, yeah, we console log, so begin, so begin, next node and uh, value actually yeah if it has children right it has child as we mentioned we need to go straight down right to the bottom uh, the, the last the leaf child so let's use a while loop here so while next node okay so if that's the case i need to put it the console here for each next node if there, if this next node is, there is this next node, we process it and check this child. So if next node has a child, uh, we would uh, set the next node to uh, the, the child, right? And then do it, do it again. If it is, doesn't have it, so we need to do what? We need to complete it. So we just call complete. Exactly. Uh, we go to complete, like we're going to three. When we complete, uh, we need to check if it has sibling or not, right? Um, so incomplete. Um, also, remember, if you think that we don't have this structure, we have this two, only one, two, three, when we complete it, we just kind of like do the things opposite, right? We just to check, go to the return, complete three, and then complete two and complete one. So it's, again, it's another, 
it's not a while loop, so it's my while next node, and then we complete it. So complete um, it's next node dot val complete it, and if next node has sibling, um, we would set the next node to the sibling. One thing here is in interesting uh, is need to pay attention is that we we don't do like begin here. Uh, because we don't have any more op, uh, don't have any um, other actions. Uh, we just need to begin a new stack. Um, so we need to begin on this new sibling. Uh, we cannot just uh, uh, just uh, let the while loop do it again. We need to do what? We need to um, um, begin again. So we just return. When we return, it will go back to begin. Uh, Go back to begin on the on four. So begin one, begin two, begin three, complete three. We find a sibling, so we set to four and let the begin do it over again. So yeah, and if that's not the case, if no sibling like uh, uh, like five here, no sibling we go to return. So next node equals next node dot. Um, return. Yeah, so that's it. And when we go back, you, you might think that maybe it is a problem on the final uh, route here. When we go here, it's returned it now. So it was stop here. But actually in, in React, we checked if it is a root here. Because actually, actually there is a node uh, React internally as we've recovered. It's actually the uh, root uh, React fiber root. Um, it's it's only for uh, a reference to keep keep track which tree React is handling. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, and this fiber root is a node on he here. It's just a changing the, the current on this fiber tree or this fiber tree. And actually this fiber tree is also a false hat, so there's no uh, it's meaningless to keep track, uh, meaningless to uh, do the work here. So, mm. yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I made a mistake. So the, the root here is actually is the, the, the uh, I think it's this one, this fiber. Yeah, this says child is the of our uh, entry component. Yeah, we, we need only to uh, ignore this one. So, but it doesn't matter uh, in our uh, demo here. We, we want, only want to illustrate how the tree nodes are um, traversed. So let's run the code. You see that begin one, one, two, begin one, two, three, and complete three, and begin four, uh, one, two, three, and uh, complete three, begin four. Yeah, cool. And then what? Beginning six, complete six, beginning seven. Begin six, complete six, yeah, begin seven, yeah, totally. And beginning eight, complete a, go to seven and four. Um, eight, eight, seven, four, yeah, exactly. And then begin five, complete five, complete two, complete one. Begin, uh, begin five, complete five, complete two, complete one. So yeah, totally. And uh, pretty simple, huh? Uh, I think I like the idea that it's separated into two functions, and but in complete, we just uh, return back to begin, and with this, we don't have this recursion. Um, yeah, I think because we already keep track of next where next node is, uh, I think it's possible for us to just to stop at somewhere and go come back to it later. Uh, I think there's some, I think there's some, uh, uh, some. Um, process when we are doing the reconciliation. Uh, it doesn't mean that there is such thing in this passive effects because it's uh, it's sync synchronous. Uh, there's no there's there's no uh, interruption in here. But in the reconciliation, uh, it, it's gonna be more complicated. Like begin, we like uh, we can stop and can come back to here later or something. So this is pretty important. Um, I, I suggest that if you want to know the React source code just like, like I do, um, I'm still learning, but I found that these algorithm or process is super important to understand. Um, in the future, we will see a lot of functions 
like this, like blah, 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 begin and complete. So that's, we're going to take uh, with this whole same mindset uh, to understand what is going on. Cool. And you can refer to my full code. Uh, there's a link in my blog. So yeah, um, hope it helped. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.